<laughs> what you doing? You okay? She's forced to share her sofa now with a giant fish. Mm. Ah, dear. Hang on a second. Okay. So I'm just going to kill the music for just a moment. Hi, everyone. Hi and welcome. I hope you're having a nice day today. So I've just gotten back from the editing that I've been doing all afternoon. Uh, I basically just continued what I was doing uh, this morning. So this morning I decided to stream some Source Filmmaker stuff. And I was just editing uh, Team Fortress Bullshittery Part 1. It is the fifth week of work. A uh, bit of a behemoth of a project, I'm afraid. Um, I hope all of them aren't like this. Um, hang on. So I'm also trying not to pan to the floor because I've got a bunch of presents. I need to wrap up chocolates and stuff. Oh. So yes, um, what was I saying? So yes, working on Team Fortress bullshittery uh, pretty much every day. I went to bed super late last night because I was just stuck on uh, stuck on editing and and trying to get these animations done. But um, yeah, did I catch that? Of course I did, Terridor. Of course, yes. Um, thank you, Wise Sub and Nerdy Dork and Rarest Hornet. Thank you, all of you. Holy shit! Thank you, Rarest Hornet, for the sub bomb. Thank you sincerely, and thank you, Grim Spectre. Uh, one moment, I'm feeling a bit dehydrated. I'm just gonna pour some water. So yes, uh, please know that I'm just doing my, the best I can on the editing front for Source Filmmaker, trying to well for Team Fortress uh, in Source Filmmaker. And there's one last animation. So there are seven animations that I need to finish, and I'm on the last one. That being said, this last one is mechanically very complicated, requiring about 18 scenes that have got to be fully animated and um, yeah lit. Uh, so it's going to take it's going to take the whole week. Uh, to be fair, uh, this one. This seventh animation is going to take the whole week, without a doubt. But I'm hoping it will be the, ooh, you know, it will be the, uh, the, the wow factor. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you again, Rarest Hornet, and Charlotte Knight, and Unforgiving Hobo, and Senpai. Thank you, all of you. Anyway, how's everyone doing? You all okay? Mm. Absolutely, Sherlock. Yeah. Uh, I think everyone has those days. You have highly productive days and other days where you just can't damn well concentrate. Um, yeah, hang on. <laughs> Will there be a Boxing Day Team Fortress 2 stream? That's a good question. I don't know, Zam. I don't know if anyone has actually mentioned it or talked about it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I guess it'll be a question for the Steam group. Hmm. Thank you, P3113 and Gamer and Cocaine. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Uh, Terriador has got some wine delivered and is uh, well supplied. Good, good. Hmm. Actually, I have a question. Chat, could you help me out here? Uh, there might be some people who will know. Um, so, for a... Um, so, uh, so, I bought this present. In short, I bought a present for a family friend. And I thought it was a bit of a joke. But now that it's arrived, I'm kind of worried. Um, so, let me just show you. It's... Where is it? Oopsie. So I bought them some beer, uh, but I bought them a keg for the for the intentional comedy value. I was like, oh, you wanted some beer? Here's a keg. But the trouble is, now that it's arrived... Oh, shit, Lulu's in the way. Hang on. So now that it's arrived for them, I'm a little bit worried that they won't be able to open it. Has anyone ever opened kegs before, and is it straightforward? Or do I need to worry about getting them a specific tap? There's a thing on the top here. Can anyone tell me what this is? Hang on. Sorry, Lulu. So, can you see that? 
Hang on. You see this piece of plastic? What's that? Is that... Do you plug that in? Is that some sort of tap? A tap, says Lady Raven. Yeah, it's an actual keg. It's, it's, it's a joke gift, really. That's to open the keg up. Not to drink from it? That is a tap, says Crashburn. Uh, I need a pressure tap system. Okay. See, that's what I'm worried about. I think I, I bought it as a joke, but I'm kind of worried that it's an inappropriate gift now. Because if they can't actually get to it without depressurizing the entire keg, that's what I mean. Does anyone know? There are instructions on the back, Mongoose, but it's only instructions to hook it up to their proprietary, you know, purchase our, our tap system device that's like 200 quid or something crazy. I'm like, no, no, Jesus. It doesn't look like a tap, says Unplays. Okay. Shit. Yeah, I think I've done goof then, haven't I? I fucked up. Okay. Again, I just bought it on a whim thinking it would be a funny uh, gift present, but um, damn. Okay. Uh, Schmicken says, with these small kegs, you need to keep it still for about 24 hours, otherwise you'll get foam from it. Okay. Hmm. All right. Ah, shit, that's a that's a shame. I was I was hoping that that gift would go down well and be a bit of a ha ha um, thing. But if they can't actually get into it without a, a screwdriver and a lot of just sprayed beer everywhere, then you know, shit. Um, thank you, Headbanger and Firefox. Thank you. Sure, but that's not that's not really the point, Skelly. It's like, would it depre? Well, presumably it would just depressurize the entire keg, and then you just have flat beer for the re remaining, you know. You're not going to drink it all in one session. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well. Do not puncture it. It's at very high pressure. Indeed. Apparently done feeding, you've got to um, you've got to turn it on its side and then gently undo a screw until most of the foam and the gas um, is, uh, yeah, is, is released. And then you can safely open it. Hmm. Okay. A small wooden keg and a tap installed in it would have been better. Yeah, guess I fucked up. Okay, that's a shame. Um, right, hang on a second. Oh, I'm just going to take off my fleece. Yeah, I guess so, William. Hang on. All right. So, anyway, um, so, yeah, sorry, where was I? So, I'm just bantering about um, a gift that I, I just got um, for some family friends. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, yeah, basically, Team Fortress bullshittery is the primary focus. I'm just trying to get it done as best I can. Um, and for now, I'm just going to relax and play a bit of Project Zomboid and join the ZF server that we've got. I don't know if I'm going to encounter any of them tonight. Hopefully, I will. But, um, yeah, let's drop in then. So, here we go. Oh, wait, sorry, no, let me just... Hide it just in case I show the server details. One second. Okay. Just gonna pop the uh, music back. There we go. Is that too loud? No. Oh, pardon me. Uh, no, I don't have ready or not. Still on the fence. Okay, the server's got quite a few people on it. Holy shit. Okay. Um. Oh, really? Terry Ador? Okay. Thank you. Right, anyway, here we are. So, uh, welcome to a bit of Project Zomboid. Effectively, uh, well, I'm not really overly familiar with it. It's a sort of isometric zombie survival sandbox game that's much more akin to the classic versions of that genre. So, the DayZ mod specifically, um, with a little bit of base building, I think, but not a huge amount. It's mostly about just trying to survive as long as you can in a very harsh PvE environment with nebulous PvP. On that front, I'm amazing at this game, clearly. I've had, yeah, oh, many survivors, survivors that have lasted a long time. Uh. <laughs> I died, like, immediately last time I played. Um, okay. So, fisherman, <laughs> again. Uh, all right. Let's not take asthmatic this time. Um, right. All thumbs. What's this? 
transfers inventory slots slowly. Um, weak stomach. Conspicuous, disorganized. Oh god, these are really bad. Can't hear sounds. Jesus. Obese. <laughs> oh no. Um, cowardly. Easily prone to becoming panicked. I think that's appropriate. There we go. Right. Here we are. What on earth? That is a strong look there, sir. Okay. Um, can I randomize it? Is there a random function? Yeah. No, hang on. Male. Okay. As white as the driven snow. Uh, okay. Ball spot. I beg your pardon. Um. Short hair. No glasses, though. Right. Hair colour was darker, but now it's unfortunately lighter. No glasses. Tank top. Nope, I cannot pull off a tank top. Right. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, it was right there all the time. Um, yeah, right. let's do that then. Type 2. Yeah, right. Okay. One second. Dog on the floor. Save. Can I save this archetype? Yes, I can. Okay. There, yeah, that's pretty much me. All right. Play. Oh wait, let me just, sorry, I need to keep doing this just in case it shows the IP or whatever. Oh, here we go. So these are the end times. Don't you dare spawn me like in a million zombies. There was no hope of survival. This is how you died. Nonsense. I'm very confident in my survival abilities. Here we go. Ooh. Blood sprayed on the floor. Does this indicate that someone's been here recently? Open doors as well. Let's close that. Is it night time outside? Okay, let's bring up my map. So where are we? Oh, it's even got my map, my note from before. Okay. Can I delete it? Edit note, remove marking. Oh, that's kind of handy. Oh, I don't have an erasure. Erasure? Eraser. Okay. Let's have a quick look around then. Check my surroundings. So, leave that open. Did I? Okay. Anything on her? Hand fork, silver bangle. Nothing I think I need. What's this over here? Can I see through it? So it is the night time. We're staying indoors. Thank you, Bebopper. Thank you very much. Whoops, I see a Z. Okay. Uh, what's this here? Advanced fishing. Hey! Okay, comic book. Traps for intermediates. Alright. Uh, it's more music this time around. So the window smashed open means that the Zeds will be able to get in quite effectively. Oh, there's music now, by the way. Weird. What's this? We can turn the television on. Okay. Sorry, what was that? I just saw. Comic book, magazine. Leave them. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you very much, Hugo. Honestly, I'd probably best to just go to ground at night time. Uh, where exactly am I? One second. I'm... I guess... Oh, here I am. Okay. So I'm in this house down here. So we'll search this area. Right. What does this do? Requires a pen or pencil. Don't have either. Okay. Uh, boxer hearts. Oh, I hear a Z outside. Best be careful. Very limited visibility. Do I have any sort of weapon? Let's have a look. So I've got some crisps in the backpack. A comic book in the backpack. Uh, no weapon at all? No, wait, I have a baseball bat and a hammer. Put that on my back slot. 
Thank you, Scully 4K. And Eternal Elysian, Hugo, Bopper, and Dolali. Thank you. And Pappy Bear, thank you. Okay. Oh, yes, did the zombie have a watch? It did. Brilliant. Thank you. Is it working? Uh, please place it on my person. Equip. Uh, one second. Is it not on me? There we go. Now it is. So it was in my backpack. Okay, so it's almost dawn. It should be fine. So yeah. Anyway, I hope everyone's all right. Welcome indeed. Thank you, Goblinian. Hi there, Goblinian. Merry Christmas to you too. Although soon, not yet. Too soon. Way too soon. All right. Good shout. Is there a way to turn off my own name above my head? That is going to get annoying. I agree. One second. Options. Uh, okay. Double texture size. Enable zoom. Yes. Uh, font size defaults. Looking for it now. Languages, no. Multiplayer. Ah, here we go. Show my username. There we go. Off. Sweet. Alright. Uh, don't worry too much about the back seating, Tacticus. Uh, this is going to sound rude. I apologise in advance. But the chat is often coming up with such uh, uh, wild guesses that uh, there's no point trying to read the back seating anyway. It's especially... You don't notice it when you don't know the game, of course. You can't differentiate what the chat doesn't know and what they do. But it's especially funny when you're playing a game that you are extremely familiar with. And people are just throwing ideas at the wall and you're just shaking your head going... Yeah, Twitch chat, I have no idea. Right. Uh, one second. Nothing there. Have I tried staying alive? I've yet to master that. I prefer the strategy of sort of falling to the ground and getting pulled into little bits. Okay. All right, we're just gonna wait here for daybreak anyway. But yeah, oh, they should do. Did it not appear, um, KO? No, it did, sorry, I just missed it. Thank you, KO Fashionetti. And a loser and Apollo. Thank you, all of you. Hmm. So this morning, in other news, um, I if you're interested in going back to the VOD and having a look, I had the, uh, showed the stream debut of Queen Millicent, the ant. I put a microscope cam into their ant farm. And so we got to see Queen Millicent and her workers in their natural, well, in their ant farm environment. So if you're interested in going to see that, feel free to have a look at the VOD. I would put her on camera again, but the microscope USB cable does not actually reach as far as the other PC that I'm streaming from. I have already ordered a one and a half meter long cable to do just that. Hmm. <sighs> Hi there, FY Gambit. Welcome indeed. Oh yeah, one minute. So uh, these books that I've got then. Uh, read. Let's have a look. Also, is there a kitchen? Did I check a kitchen? I don't get it. Okay, traps for intermediate. All right. What about the other one? Comic book, chips, advanced fishing. Surely I get this. What's going on here then? I don't understand. What the fuck? Nonsense. What is it you don't understand? Hang on. Okay, so here's a crafting thing that we could do. Temperature, protection, health, skills. Okay, here we go. So fitness level three, strength, fishing. Okay, level three. Yeah. Aiming, reloading, carpentry. Hmm. So it's six in the morning, so do we have some daylight outside? I think we do. Let's check the kitchen while we're here. Uh, okay, egg carton fresh. Meat patty rotten. Yuck. Mutton chop rotten. Okay. Uh, empty cooking pot tongs. No. 
Canned beans. Take those. Empty tin can. Okay. Right, let's go. Ooh, foggy. Here's some steps outside. Something shuffling. Thank you, Cronty. Thank you very much, Cronty. Let's check out the next house. Nice and careful, eh? Ooh, hello. That's a lot of Zeds. Okay. Can I just check my local environment? Check that corpse. Nothing of note. Okay. More Zeds over there. Did I miss the freezer? Whoops. Oh look, the door has been kicked down. That's not good. So planks, I can actually pick these up. They're going to be too heavy. They are now too heavy, so I best be careful. So I'm going to carry these. I need to put them in my backpack. I should also get round. Hang on. Let's get in and out, in out. Yeah, check out this place quickly and then move on. Red pen. We'll grab that. Expert farming. We'll grab that. Again, it's a little bit of a shame that there's no trade site or any sort of equivalent. An important element, I feel, of this sort of survival game is that you've got to have the option of potentially having some use for it later. Which is what a tr trade site is for. You can transfer even something that is valuable but not to you into a trade item because the problem is if you have everything you need then you start you start running out of things to do one second yeah it's still early access but you know what i mean as in in insofar as the tested and that music is a little bit annoying insofar as the tried and tested mechanics of uh you know of open world survival Not really, uh, White. Sorry, again, it's very complicated, and I know I love rambling about it. But you've got to remember that the Daisy mod and all of the things that came after it, uh, they're, they're, there's lots of individual types. Hundreds, thousands of different types. With mechanics that uh, would be completely different from server to server. So, uh, yeah, it's fairly easy to create a completely different variant with just minor tweaks. One second. Hell, even back in the like towards the end of the Daisy mod lifespan, you know, the the Daisy mod wasn't the Daisy mod anymore. They just kept adding small mechanics like missions or trade sites or whatever on the whims and wishes of the server owners. Okay, what's this? A school? Did I come here before? No, I didn't. It's probably empty. Let's have a quick look through the window. Okay. Police station. Ooh. Let's go through the open window here. Is that KJ in the chat? Hi there, KJ. Hope you're very well, sir. Uh, folks, that's KJ from Holfast. You've probably seen him in... Bl Sorry, why are my shoes pink? Excuse me. You've seen KJ in lots of different things, I'm sure. Oh, frame rate is going weird. Can I close this? Yes, I can. Uh, what's this? Crayons. <laughs> a doodle. Can I... No, it doesn't do anything. So while I'm here, I've got that pencil, haven't I? Hang on. So let's just mark. I've got a red pencil. So what should I do? Cross. Cross. Those two houses, I've checked. I hear some zombies wandering around near me, so I best get away from the glass window. this go then? Any Zeds in here? One might get themselves accidentally trapped in here if they're not careful. Whoops. There's a wrench on the ground in the corridor, do you reckon? Thank you, Prince. Hi there, Prince. Okay, couldn't hear anything through here. 
What's that there? It looks like a box of... Oh, damn. I, was, I thought it was a box of bullets. It's a box of paper clips. Just another cell. Okay. Yep, nearly as lethal. Uh oh. Really? What? How'd that Z get there? What the fuck? Is that a car? Someone just drove past. A police car. Holy shit. Hang on. Take that. Put this pipe wrench here. In fact, start with the baseball bat. Let's deal with this dude before he causes a problem. This lady even. Oh, I see. She's going towards the police car. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. I, I've forgotten the button. I should have pressed the right mouse button first before attempting the sneak attack. Whoopsie doo. -doo. And she bit me, and now I'm bleeding in minor pain. One second. He's probably investigating the noise. Let's go this way. So quickly. Uh, laceration. Bandage. Well, a dirty rag? Damn, that wasn't smart. Needed to get a, got a clean one there. Dirty bandage on my forearm. So in minor pain with a fairly heavy load. I'm carrying too much. Let's drop some of those planks. I was thinking of making like crafting something out of a plank, but we don't have a we don't have a, a knife or anything to, to let me do that. So one second. Uh, drop both planks on the floor. Cool. Good to know, Blue Seal. Right. Ah, oh dear. Alright. And then... I'm a bit hungry, so let's eat... Egg carton fresh, canned beans. We'll go with... Yeah. Open egg carton. Twelve uncooked eggs. Oh, dear. Of course. Uh, I've got those... Hang on, I've got the those crisps. Let's just eat half the packet of crisps. There we go. So, in minor pain. Uh, ooh, is that just a shirt, or is it uh What's that there? Check the cabinets. Belt. Ooh, a blue police t-shirt. Uh, less insulation, less wind resistance. Better condition. Uh, nails, I'll take those, because I think you can put them into, the, uh, into a baseball bat to improve the damage. Is that correct? Hang on. Is the screen very low resolution? Uh, no, I don't, maybe you're right, actually. Hang on. What's my resolution? I didn't accidentally put it on low res, did I? Uh, uh no, no, it's tidy. Is, it, is that just what the game looks like? Thank you, Wint, Sean. Thank you very much, Wint. Uh, one second, let me just go here. Health protect no not health protection. Dirty bandage on my forearm. Hang on. What do I want? Is this it? Crafting? See so yeah, what was it about the nail box of nails? No. Uh baseball. Oh wait, general favourite. Carpentry cooking fishing. Steak. Make a steak. Okay. Never mind. Uh, nothing over here. Rip the shirt on the floor. Not a bad idea. Yeah, get some clean. There we go. So grab the shirt, put it in my primary, or just rip it in my inventory, I guess. So carrying a little bit too much. Let's put the beans in the bag. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Uh, thank you, um... Slav Line Bling. Thank you for the tier two, Slav. Thank you. That's very kind. Thank you for doing that. Uh, did that work? Oh, no, wait. Wrong icon. This one there? There we go. That one there. Okay. So I've still got the books. They didn't get consumed when I failed to read them. Okay. So let's take this and rip this up. So... Craft sheet rope, rip clothing. 
Cool, there we go. And then how many... So yeah, four ripped sheets. Be sure to disinfect the wound. Uh, sure, I'm not sure if I have anything to do that at the minute apart from orange soda. But I don't think orange soda makes for a particularly effective disinfectant. Uh, pen, CD, heading for the heat. What's that then? Grab that. Maybe it's music that you can listen to in order to try and relax. Ooh, some water. Can I access this to drink? Uh, so, drink, water source. Cool. So how can I see my thirst value? Is it shown? Uh, can I wash my wound? Uh, all clothing. Add water, drink. Uh, just wash myself, hang on. Thank you, Gonroll. Thank you very much, Gonroll. And before that, the racing bomb and Wint. Thank you, all of you. Take the bandage off and then wash it. Okay. Or just put a fresh one on then. Then we'll eat the other half of the packet, packet of crisps there. Then we do need to go find some more food. Especially before it gets dark. So remove the bandage. There we go. Laceration bleeding. Ripped sheets. There we go. So I know that that's clean. Cool. That's better. Right. Okay. So eat the other half. Of, yeah, so eat all of the packet of uh, crisps there. Uh oh. It's not a good sound. Someone coming to murder me? I really hope someone's not coming to murder me. Shit. Shit, who's that? Let's keep moving, keep moving. Get the fuck away from wherever that is. Oh, are these... Are these windows harder to open? Let's go over here. Still need to find food. Ooh, kitchen. Where are we? Yeah, check this out. So I've already checked out that police station. Not sure where this is, but let's have a look. Okay. A garbage bag. Just checking these cupboards. So somebody could kill me to take my beans, I presume. A plate, dish towel, gravy mix. Ooh, okay. Baking, well, I'm not sure what the baking soda will do. Sugar. Lovely. Rolling pin, gravy mix. What's this? Marinara. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, rotten potato and a sack. Hmm. Mustard. A leek and soy sauce. Nice. Uh, rotten uh, dam. Okay. Hang on, I presume these eggs are also probably rotten since they're also not refrigerated. Shit. Rotten uncooked. I missed a knife. Did I really? Uh, rolling pin. Fork. Oh, a butter knife. Thank you. Not... Oh, steak fresh uncooked. Fresh. Take that. Uh, garbage bag. One minute. Coffee. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. More in this fridge here. Oh. Car just drove off down the road. Oh, look. All the doors have been smashed in. By the I see it's a restaurant. It's a cafe. Okay. Oh, 
Bit of a lag spike there. Right. Still carrying quite a bit. Let's uh let's make sure I keep transferring stuff into the backpack. Okay. How much can the backpack hold? Hang on. Oh, cool. Uh, five, yeah, f uh, ten more slots remaining. Okay. Uh, rip sheets, pipe wrench. I should definitely... Hang on. Should I just drop this? So weight damage quite high. Where's the baseball bat? You know, the damage is actually not too bad on this. Let's keep this until we have to use the pipe wrench. Okay. Right. So when the doors are smashed in, I wonder if you have to properly fix them in order for uh, in order to restore its anti zombiness Okay, so big residential area. So what, we're in, we're in like a commercial area right now, aren't we? Keep an eye on my wound. The bandage gets filthy over time. Good to know. Thank you. Okay. Let's keep moving. Town Hall. West Point, is that the name of this place? Close the door behind me. I'm not sure what the Town Hall would really do insofar as stuff here worth finding. We'll have a quick scoot, see if there's anything that pops out. Staff fridge. Uh, uncooked chicken. Is it really that wise taking lots of uncooked meat? I mean, I'm hungry. Hang on, could do with a bite. Does that microwave still work? Ah, interesting. Settings. Ah, okay. Temperature, defrost. Does it work? Shh. Oh shit, it's a bit loud. Should I close it? Right, hang on. Oh shit, who's that? Oh fuck! Is that Naughty Ostrich? I think it is. <laughs> is he gonna come murder me? Oh shit, there's another dude that. Fuck, I'm getting out of here. Oh god, 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 I'm gonna get shot. Oh god. No 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 shit 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 how do I put this away put this away I need to run they're gonna steal my shoes run 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 is it alt how do I run really fast shit 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 being chased by horrible bandits horrible ugly bandits everybody horrendously ugly they are. God, I'm knackered. Hang on. Oh, shit. One of them just fired a gun. Quickly, 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 quickly. Horrid monsters. That's what they were. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Can I hide in here? Can they see me? They can't see me. Right? Am I hidden? Okay. Hey, Dinkle Beans on. <laughs> Mag's in the chat. I want those shoes, he says. Piss off, you smelly bandits. Oh, oh no. Should I have typed that, like, out loud? Can they see me? Okay. Gonna keep moving. 
Shit. What's that sound? I hear something grumbling. Ugh. Where am I? Hang on. I'm here? Don't know where the fuck here is. Let's go this way. Okay, one minute. I'm just going to stop here. What's the time? So, yeah. Go to ground soon. Uh, shame I lost that microwave. Hang on. One second. Tomato. We'll just eat this. I hear something strange. Sounds like a radio almost. Okay, quite sweaty in pain. Right. Leave me alone. My shoes are mine. <clears throat> Bastards. Okay. Let's keep moving. What's that? Sorry. I'm feeling a little sad. Oh no. It's just kind of normal at this point, to be honest. Ouch. Ah, survivor. Hmm. Burger joint? Ooh. Disgusting food just sitting out on the on the work surfaces when all of this started. I presume it's yeah, rotten, revolting. Ketchup might be good though. Okay, so find so I'm feeling sad, find a way to raise my spirits. Uh did I get still have that comic? One minute. Read a comic book. Right. Thank you, Obiara. Thank you very much. For the people just joining the stream, I'm just trying to survive in a zombie apocalypse. Running from horrid monster people. Uh, so Mag and Chinny and Ostrich. I presume they were in a car. They tried to attack me. Right, one minute. Oh, wait, they're already in my... I'll put more stuff in the bag so I can run. What about the... Um... Hang on, pipe wrench, where that go? Uh, thank you, Matt3R4S. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oops. Uh, fountain cup paper bag. Money. What's back here? Anything worth taking? I hear an on yeah refrigerator that's w operational. One second, gravy mix mayonnaise. Ignore the mayonnaise. It's rotten. Uh, rotten uncooked. Okay. No. Okay. Keep trying to survive. That's the name of the game. Just need to mark the areas that I've been to. So I ran that way. Okay. So let's head that way. Try not to run everywhere. I'll just exhaust myself. And if I really need to run, then I'll be in trouble. Maybe the sound of the car has drawn away all the Zeds. Question, when I jumped in that hedge there, is that a good way of hiding from people that are hunting you to try and kill you? KJ says it is. Okay, good to know. Okay, watch out for them. Let's go this way.
Have I looked for a vehicle? Not yet. Not a bad idea, I suppose. Oops. Right. Just move house to house. Just keep searching as quick as we can. Looking for anything that might be useful to our survival chances. Okay, nothing here. Oops. Presumably also some books so that we can... What's that? Sorry. VHS. The moderators? Thank you, Wingrid and Santa. Thank you, both of you. Uh, empty mug. Ooh, ham. And peas. I'm overloaded again. Uh, saucepan. Maybe take the saucepan just in case I can make a fire later and cook it. Uh, food. Canned sardines. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, carrying all this food might not be wise if I've got no way of refrigerating it. Okay. <laughs> Drop the baking soda. What else can I drop? Uh, the saucepan is quite heavy. Put it in the bag. There we go. The bag is almost full. That's the trouble. Okay. Eat the rest of the mustard. Hmm. Shimson. The guys in the uh, the clan um, steam group recommended that we give it a whack. So yeah, here we are. Okay. So I've checked out this building here. Keep having a look. So it's soon to be nightfall. Just on the corner of this bit here. So, broken window. Open door at the back there. I hear quite a few Zeds milling around. Okay, best be careful. Uh, ooh, there's a microwave. I'd cook it, but I do hear lots of Zeds. I'd cook stuff. Baking tray, dish towel, frying pan. Hmm, processed cheese. Uh, bacon fresh. Again, I take all of this, but I'm I don't have a way of really keeping it refrigerated. Thank you, Ninja. Thank you. Oh wait, can I turn the oven on? Ah. Okay, hold on. Will that make less noise? Uh, frying pan. Equip primary. So it's now in my hand. I'm just sort of holding it. Okay. Can I place this on there? Settings. Thank you, Scorpy. Thank you very much, Scorpy. No, I, I want to use the hob. Hmm. Does this work or am I getting it all wrong? So it's not an item that's... Hang on. Oh, I see. Do I do I just place it in there? Like, hang on. Where is it currently equipped? If it's my primary here, do I just put it there? Does it appear on the top? No. Uh, thank you, mental. Thank you very much, mental. Okay, it's a container. Just leave it on. All right. So let's just yeah. Hang on. Let's put some fresh uncooked salmon. And a steak in there. Then just turn it on. Okay. Settings. Uh, 400 degree. Uh, hang on. Timer. 15. There we go. That's better. Yeah, 200 degrees. 20 minutes. Okay. Cool. Let's also turn off the light just in case we get into danger. Oh, hello. How did you get in? Through the window. Okay. Is it space? It is, but I'm crap at my aiming. Cool. Hope that didn't make too much noise. 
Uh, gold. Oh, uh, we'll lock it. Okay. Gold ring. Radio. Turn it on, but turn the volume all the way down. Oh, hello. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you very much, Taylor. Was there anything here worth picking up? Cries of the Damned. Right. Guessing it's probably music. Uh, salmon fresh uncooked. Guess it's going to... Oh, burning? Dangerously uncooked. Wait a minute. Hang on. The steak is burning, but the salmon is dangerously uncooked? Does it make any sense? Hang on. Keep going. Yeah, take out the steak. Hang on. Oh, steak's burnt. Looks like I've got, I've got to babysit it then, unless I know the exact time. I mean, you can still eat a burnt steak. Hang on. Unhappiness. Okay, no, wait. It will drop my happiness. Leave it then. Fresh, cooked, burning. Grab it. I see. Okay. Mmm. Salmon, freshly cooked. Nice. Okay, that works. Right. There we go. So full to bursting. Couldn't manage another single solitary bite. Not bad. Let's have a look around while we're here. Anything of note? Bath towel, hair gel. No. And then no, no, the oven is off. It went ping. Mechanics for intermediaries. Ooh. Okay. Journal. Here Zed's skulking around outside. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's off, right? Settings. See? Timer. Zero. Or maybe it's not one of these ovens that turns off. Okay. Did I take out the frying pan? I don't think I need the frying pan, do I? Okay. Let's start moving to another house. So check this one. There we go. Right. Move to the next house over then. Oh, hello. Well, there's quite a few Zeds over here actually. Yeah, let's definitely shimmy over. Very small house. Okay, I'll take him out. Let's get out the hammer. I should be able to make a stealth kill, right? Yeah. Back out this way. Damn, locked. Any windows? Shit. might be okay here for the night. Oh, Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh, just out the window, we're fine. Made me jump, holy shit. So, bath towel, mirror, and toothbrush. Oh, see, it's a door. Okay. Oven mitt, TV dinner uncooked. Ah. Grab that. Okay. So... I did get that VHS tape. Hang on. Power source is nearby. No tape. Play. One second. So what's on? Yeah, let's have a look. I guess we need to entertain ourselves, otherwise we're going to go a bit mental. So VHS, the moderators. What's this then? Placing in VHS. Play. Right. 
We are the moderators. Sit on the ground. Boredom going down. Okay. They should do a bunch of like a uh, sim style um what is it sim style uh, TV shows or whatever that play Oh yeah check the bandage while we're here seems okay <clears throat> Sure thing, Ghost Waffle. I'll work it out. Don't worry about it. Okay. So it's night time now. So I wonder what other stats I can see. Let's have a look. So protection. Yeah, very low protection. I got very. Don't really have any armor. Cowardly. <laughs> 17 hours I've survived for. Okay. I don't really have anything to cover the windows with. Hang on. How is everyone? So I see Nervous Hawk and Aria Gatto and Mag. Did I work things out with Source Filmmaker with the scene duplications? I did indeed, Half-Blood. It was way easier than I thought. It was simply a case of not selecting props or whatever it is when you start the recording. Uh, the tick boxes when you hit recording. Uh, Mag says, yes, pretty good. We're trying to see how fire propagates by burning down a house block. Messi says, hoping to find a sledgehammer. Unsuccessfully, but otherwise good. Uh, Dinkle is pretty good. Just started up a farm. And Arigato is staying alive. I'm good, thanks. I'm in a house. I am alive. Hmm. Sorry, one minute. Where's my... Hang on. Looking for the antiseptic. Ah, oh, the Umovate will do. Got like a horrible like rash thing on my fingers. It's very annoying. Hang on. Yeah, we'll just rest here for the night. Too dangerous to go out. Way too dangerous. So yeah, so speaking to the people people passing through the uh, to the people passing through the chat, um, yeah, please know that I've been working on Team Fortress bullshittery. It is week number five. Yeah, again, sorry for the super long length of time between every YouTube project. I promise you I am working on them every day. It's just, uh, yeah, they're big. Thank you, Warren. It holy shit. Thank you very much, Warren. It thank you for the fifty-one months. Thank you. So yeah, um, just cracking on, just trying to get the um, the bullshittery done. So end to end, it is edited. Uh, if I had to, if I had to critique it though, I would say that I'm having trouble getting the text above people's heads. With something like DayZ, it wouldn't matter so much because I would kind of cheat. I would move the audio to be out of sync with the video. I do that a lot. You might notice it. You might you know, spot something in a bullshittery that doesn't seem quite right. It's because I'm tricking you. I'm I'm shimmying the video ahead above someone else's um, head. In, in some in, in not most occasions, but in very rare occasions, I even um, get like an NPC or something to stand in the place of the person talking. Because maybe when the joke was said, there were just maybe the frame rate was too low, or there was somebody in the way. Basically, the text above people's heads is very effective, and I'm not always looking at people's heads, um, which is a huge problem. So um, yeah, so that's the problem. I, a problem I've got with Team Fortress because you don't often look at each other's heads. It's one of those games where you very rarely look at your teammates. Even if you're a medic, you're looking at usually the heavy. Never say the engineer. So it means that lots of the text is quite static on, on, on the sort of front of the screen. Very old school bullshittery. Which um, is a bit rubbish in my opinion. Thank you Dippy... Uh, wait, 
Dippy Dodop, a uh, Dop. Thank you very much, Dippy. So sorry, what was I saying? So my point is, with something like DayZ, it doesn't matter because you can just move the timeline back and forth. So say, for example, Cyanide says something funny. I can just move the timeline back until I was looking at Cyanide like 30 seconds before. The trouble is, you can't do that easily in Team Fortress because the audio is so distinctive that it's not just like the sound of leaves crunching underfoot with something like DayZ. Uh-oh. That back door is locked. If someone tries it, I've got to run. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's just a Z. We're okay. My character got panicked. We're okay. No, 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 no. Everything's okay. What's that sound? What the hell was that noise? It's, it's the TV. All right. Best turn it off. Take the uh, tape. There we go. Right. <laughs> Thank you for saying so, Penguin. And welcome indeed, Penguin. Um. Hang on. So yeah, with stuff like DayZ, it's fairly easy to just move the timeline back and forth until you can find a clip where you were looking at, or like a moment, where you were looking at, uh... Shit. Chinny screamed, hey. Bandits are near me. Oh, look. They're, they're, oh, shit, they're searching. Oh, shit. I saw them. Did you see them? I saw them. Look at him, it's hideous. Oh, he's bleeding. What's he doing? Uh oh. Ooh. Are they fighting? Shit. I think they're setting fire to things. this way. Those bastards are going to be making a shit ton of noise. Damn it, I shouldn't move at night though. Oh, hello. Quickly get out the hammer. Hope I can get a stealth kill on her quickly. Oh, she's got a knife in her back. Got it, got it. Grab the knife. Oh, it's just a butter knife. Damn it. I've already got one of those. What's this here? Cooking for beginners. Nice. I'm overloaded. Okay. Uh, mince meat uncooked. TV dinner uncooked. Put that in the backpack. Damn, it's full. Put that on the floor for the minute. Just check the rest of the place. Oh, also, um, you guys are probably going to laugh and say, oh, 
shit. They're driving off. Um, I broke my bed this afternoon. <laughs> um, I sat. Oh, hello. I sat down on my bed, and it's and the wood splintered. I think I need to lose weight. <laughs> Like, I sat down really, really hard on the edge of the bed, you see. Pretty much smack in the middle of, like, the weakest point of it. And I just heard a crack, and then I looked down, and the entire side of the bed frame is just it's cracked. <laughs> yeah. Fat. Okay. What's that on the floor there? Metal Workers Magazine. Just, just gone midnight. Can I sit down? Sit on the ground. No, I can't sit down. Anything in here? Thank you, the, uh, the corner? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I just want, oh, cans. Nice. Grab these. Put them in the bag if I can. Nope, it's full. Grab them anyway. Uh, okay. I'm completely full. Right. In which case, pop the saucepan there. Take the canned potato and the canned mushroom soup. No, I can't. Alright, eat some food then. Eat this leek. Yeah, ditch some of the meat. Am I Australian? No, kangaroo. I'm British. Okay, fresh peas. Some soap. Cleaning liquid. Yeah. Alright. So feeling a little sad. Find a way to improve my mood. Uh, one second... CD, nails, advanced, so cooking for beginners. Let's read this. Surely this will be an interesting read. Thank you, Angry Fraggle. We could be here a while. I suppose that's what you do at night, isn't it? Okay. Just going to pour myself a drink. Ah, dear. So, yeah, I hope everyone's okay. So, this week, as mentioned, just working on uh, Team Fortress bullshittery. Um, having some awkward conversations with my mum, which are proving to be quite stressful, I'm afraid. Um, there's lots of... Um, well, not lots of... There's, there's two family gatherings that are happening this Christmas. And they've been making me very nervous. Mainly because the one on Christmas Eve, the one that precedes Christmas Day, is a big family event where we're going to go into a room and all sit at a table, about 20 to 25 of us, in close quarters eating the Chinese food. It's what we do every Christmas um, Eve and it's a tradition, but I'm sitting here going, no... The problem is uh, it's led to some divides on, I guess, information sources slash politics um, insofar as how one deals with the virus between myself and my mum. Because she's of the mindset that lateral flow tests and vaccinations and if we get it we'll be fine. I'm of the mindset that we should reduce the risk of getting it at all and probably shouldn't do that because it sounds a bit too dangerous. At least now while the numbers are extremely high and the two of us do not agree so yeah I'm yeah probably going to just quietly just enter a lockdown over here personally thank you the little light and callow and holy shit thank you the mighty cookie lord thank you very much mighty cookie Thank you for doing that, Mighty. Thank you sincerely.
And thank you, um, BLKHK212. Thank you. Thank you very much. So anyway, so that's been quite a stressful um, week. Lots of, uh, you know, charged phone calls back and forth. Uh, but yeah, beyond that, work is going great. Um, the ants are great. They're they're proving to be quite interesting in their ant farm. As incredibly sad as that sounds. Yeah. Pardon me. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I don't know what to say. Um, who's a, who's a Jigawa? I, 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 okay. So we're going to spend most of the night reading this book. Okay. Um, yeah, what else is happening? Just trying to think if there's any news, really. Um, not much. What's that? Sorry, something moved. Is that just fog? Just fog. Oh, thank you, Satya Frost, for the tier three. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. Teaming up with someone from ZF would be great. I do plan to, Hamuda. But but if you'll forgive me, I'm I need to sort of get the hooks of the game in me solo first. Not always, but often. The problem is, is that um, they're often playing during the day, and I'm often at work, and um, or, or whatever, you know, we have different rates of play, but I tend to be one of the slower ones when it comes to picking up new features, owing to the fact that I, I don't have a huge amount of time to play games. Um, so, it means that they are often way further ahead in the game than I am, and so it often feels like I'm being sort of dragged along and you know, like, you know, you know how it is. is it, the, 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 you turn up, it's like, here, here's a submachine gun, here's some body armor, here, let's go to the military site. And I'm sitting there going, what does the right mouse button do? Right. Uh, yes, indeed. I'm a YouTuber, um, Edric. So I know that, yes, I'm in control of the timetable, and I could simply choose to not work and play games, but the ed the videos have got to get edited. You know, each individual bullshittery takes a shit ton of work. Absolute shit ton of work. Um, yeah, as anyone in visual effects will tell you. Thank you, Curdo. Thank you very much, Curdo. So, yeah. It's a very common question, Oxcraft, and uh, forgive me, it's so common that it more or less comes up every single stream. Why not just hire an editor? And the, the answers to the question are many and complicated. Uh, and I tend to pick a different one each time. But the one I'm going to go to now is to simply say that uh, it's kind of weird uh, that most YouTubers do their thing and then when you get to a certain level, there's this pressure put on you to just hire an editor. Just stop being a YouTuber. Give your job to someone else to do. I don't like that. I, I, I enjoy being a YouTuber. I like it. I like, I like it. I like creating things. I'm a creative person. I, I like creating stuff. It's fun. I don't want to, like, hand off my job to someone else. It's like if you enjoy painting, you know? Yeah, sure, if you could put six different artists painting the same canvas, you'll get it done faster. But it kind of sucks. Hmm. Again, a lot of it has to do with the fact that um, YouTuber as a term... Um, has kind of, it really, again, this is just the talking points that I always do. It really has changed over the years, hasn't it? So the original definition years and years ago 
would be somebody who is uh, editing, maybe void doing voice work, maybe doing script work. They're a producer, editor, visual effects artist, narrator, all in one. It's a one-man show, one man or woman show. So you've got lots of small, scrappy channels, don't you? Like, all, pre all presenting their own little way of doing things. But the trouble is, over the years, as YouTube has sort of grown and, and big channels have become established, then lots of the individual roles of YouTuber, so editor, visual effects artist, script, all that, they get split up into different individual people, and it becomes a lot more traditional in the way that, you know, normally, like a normal television show is made. And the trouble is, I think, that you lose a huge amount of... You lose something in that, in that transition. Individual people editing is normally far more interesting to me than a team. You lose, uh, like, an authenticity in the work. It becomes corporate, even if you're trying not to. I often just lose myself entirely in long-form video essays made by just one person with a cup of coffee sitting there talking to the camera about, um, you know, all the ins and outs of some fan schism that occurred in some vampire, like, tween drama show or something. I, I spend hours watching those sorts of content, and then, you know, when I look at something that's sort of hyper-slick and produced, it's like, Ugh. Again, just me personally. Thank you, Replex and Grove Spaz. Thank you very much. We finished reading the book. <laughs> so what has that done? I would have laughed if you turned around and said, I don't get it. <laughs> right at the end of that. Okay, hang on. Um, let's eat some crisps. Actually, no. Since we're in the, in the house, let's, yeah. Open this up probably cook something so let's cook fresh ham there we go then we'll just watch it as it cooks yep thank you Le leviathan's lookout thank you very much leviathan's sorry what am i doing there we go hmm. go to the skills panel okay uh where is it skills uh, fishing, foraging. Oh, I see. Cooking, going up. Nice. That might take. That might take a while. I guess that's what you do at night. You busy yourself entertaining yourself or reading books. Okay, so that didn't actually entertain me. I'm getting bored. Okay, so while that's cooking, then, do I still have a comic book or something that I can read? Presumably, it's going to bore me because I've already read it. Cooking for beginners. And sardines. Didn't I grab a comic book? Or am I going crazy? Okay, I need to find some entertainment. Oh, the ham can't be cooked? Oh, I see. You just you just eat it, do you? Okay. I'm going to eat a whole ham. <laughs> What do I think is better in animation? Frame quality or frame quantity? Again, it entirely depends. There is no straight answer. It entirely depends on your specific content, the niche you're going for, the competition in that niche, the uh, tastes of the audience. Ooh, a radio. Advanced foraging. No? Oh, okay, I can't pick up anything now. Is that a comic book? What's this? Uh, T-shirt. Electronics Magazine, Volume 4. So is that like a skill book that I read, or is that, is that something else? Uh, oven's on. Yeah, I'll just turn it off. Okay. Uh, radio. Mechanics for Intermediates. Is this entertainment or is this... Hang on. Thank you, Tiger Boy. Thank you very much. What did that do? Um, nope. Skills. Cooking. Going up. 
Uh, okay. Check the bandage. Bandage is okay. Right, still need to find some entertainment. Is there a television in here? Uh, no, they don't have a television. Okay, we'll check the next house. Is it daylight? I've got a steam overlay. No, almost daylight. Okay, we'll go check the next house and watch telly. Thank you, Esox. Thank you very much, Esox. We could go back. I mean, we're just adjacent to the house with the TV. We'll just shimmy down a couple of houses. All skill books and no entertainment. Entertainment comes from comics, news, newspapers, or stuff like that. Okay. Let's check outside. Hi there, Harry. Uh, ZF Harry is in the chat, everyone. Hope you're very well, Harry. You should consider trying to survive on the server, sir. See how you do. What is that? S it's an odd sound. Maybe it's just the music. Ooh, magazine. Hang on. Ah, television. Turn on. Anything on? Tune in. How can I tell if something's on? No, I guess it's just the music. store on the shelf there. That's a zombie. Storeroom's in here. A light bulb and electrical wire. No. Oops. I can pan the view by holding right click against the edge. Oh, sweet. Good to know. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's the house they were burning. So I know this television works. Let's turn this on. So what happens if I put that VHS tape back in? Does it say like, I'm bored, I've seen this one. Turn on. Play. Is my boredom going down? I hear footsteps coming towards me. My boredom is not going down. No, I don't think I can sit on the sofa. Hmm. No, I don't think it's working, is it? Oh, see, my boredom is down, but I'm sad. Okay. So find a way to raise my mood. Do I have any nicer food? Chicken, fresh, uncooked, gravy mix, soy sauce? Yeah. Grim? Uh, satiated dry mouth. Drink the orange soda. Drink about a quarter. Have a wank. Honestly, that'll probably make me sadder. There we go. Oh, I'm getting a tad weepy. Seek some entertainment or human contact. <laughs> really? Do I want to seek human contact? 
They'll murder me and steal my shoes. Someone's baseball bat. It's probably in better condition than the one here. Hmm. What is the condition of this one here? Eh, no, this one's condition is still pretty good. We'll hang on to this. In fact, screw it. Drop it on the floor and take the pipe wrench. This is where some car moves at like 60 mile an hour from left to right and just, you know, takes me out. Where is it? Pipe wrench. Oh, no, really? Oh, okay, hang on. I guess it's small then. Well, never mind that. Nah, keep the baseball bat then. They can, yeah, we can just live on that slot. Take that one. Crap. Okay. Oh, pardon me. Right, pop that on my back. So this is the the building that they were hitting with Molotovs. So I presume they probably looted it. To, oh, wow. Okay, so if bandits attack you and they've got Molotovs? Holy shit, they could just, like, cover the the doors and just burn, burn you out. I wonder if that lets them get the loot. Let's go this way. Hang on, just check the map. Nasty. Okay, so they had a, they had a car, so, oops, so they could be anywhere right now. That car looks shagged. Hmm. Is there like a? So these are all residential buildings. That's where I was before. That's a that's a school. So maybe I should head back here and see if I can find like a. Well, I did go into the police station, but I couldn't find any guns. Then again, I mean, this is America. Don't they have, like, guns behind every single, like, small suburb house? Hmm. Let's go this way. Harry's dead. Oh no! <laughs> Lol. Hey, Harry. Oh dear. Shit. If you're not familiar with Harry, he's quite funny. He's a very friendly member of ZF. There we go. Oops. Isn't the game set in 1993? You don't know if guns were common back then. I'm pretty sure guns have been common in America since the start of America. Okay, there we go. Oh, foraging for beginners. Sweet, grab that as well. Ooh, nice. So, Tad Weepy seeks some excitement or human contact. A new, t new VHS tape. Let's turn this on. Hang on. The Omega Department. There we go. Is it working? There we go. Boredom going down. Lovely. Oh, that door's open. This week, he hosted his second annual Global Initiative Forum in New York. I really... Okay. I don't mean... That sounds sort of morbid. There's steak on the plate. Yeah, it's probably rotten, though. I don't mean... That sounds sort of morbid when you say like that. I mean, I don't get that. Anyway, um, yeah, no, fun so far though. Again, I I'm a sucker for this type of game. I enjoy it. It's uh, it's hands-off nature means that you're free to just sort of roam in any direction and potentially encounter anything. Other players were looking to steal your shoes, 
a nasty PvE thing that goes sideways, or then one and then the other. Yeah, the unstructured nature of it is fun. Thank you, Fickle and Gunslinger. Thank you. And the fact that it could all go horribly wrong in the course of just a couple of minutes is, uh, yeah, part of the excitement. I hear something. I presume just a Z. <laughs> oh, Jesus, yes. Whoa, hello. Yes, there was. I left the window open as well. That's stupid. Oh, it's got a hard hat. Does that make a difference? No, we're okay. Okay. We're all right. Okay. Anything of note? Uh, red speedos, a t-shirt. T-shirt. Money. A uh, rotten chicken. Someone was sitting down for dinner before this all started. Chocolate chips. Ooh. Marshmallows. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I've got some of those. I, I bought some the other day. Yeah. No, I'm enjoying the game so far. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to see what encounters I might have with people. Which makes me wonder, thinking about that more, the real sort of fun... I mean, yeah, the PvE is 90% of what you do. Hang on. Is it done? Oh, Tad, so get some excitement or human contact. So did that VHS not do it for me? Ah, uh, newspaper. Let's try reading that. Okay. So yes, 90% um, of what you do will be PvE, but it's punctuated by the 10% of player encounters. And that's where the fun is. The sort of the, the line between the two things and how over time the PvE gradually hardens you and makes you desperate to survive so the moment you encounter another another person you're both potentially if if the game is done well desperate to not die so you might think oh that's fine because that just means that oh you know we'll both be fine we won't attack each other but it actually kind of works against you because well if you're desperate to survive one of you might have something the other really wants and so they might be prepared to kill. Hmm, I'm not sure how I fix this then. Getting a tad weepy. So I'm a bit thirsty. Have a drink of hard hat. Take the hard hat? Not a bad idea. Sorry, what was I saying? So uh, my point is, I wonder if um, the server map might be too big versus the player numbers? I'm not sure yet. Especially because people said that it doesn't have missions or airdrops. Uh, two of the things which are very important to make people come into contact with each other. Hard hat. Bloody. Oh no. Can I wash it maybe? Wash. Hard hat. Uh... Hard hat wet. Huh. Cool. Those boots look good. Boots? Mine or his? Ooh, military desert boots. Nice. Okay, put those on. Where are they? Whoops, that's my backpack. Where? Cool. And then drop these pink shoes. Okay, so still carrying a bit too much. Eat these chocolate chips. Nom 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 nom. Okay. <coughs> Your mission is survival, and there are spots where you find certain things like. Sorry, what was that? 
Like meds, guns, military camps for guns. Oops, sorry, no, wait. Uh, sure, Akama, but you, you, you get my point though, right? In that often it's not just a wise to have simple areas where there's always good stuff. Uh, it's sometimes it's wise to be like, hey, everyone come here for a second, you know? Like, oh, there's an airdrop. The point isn't, the airdrop isn't the point of the airdrop. The point of the airdrop is to convince people to, oh, if you just go two, two grid squares over there, you could potentially have something wonderful. Hmm. There's a knife on the table. Is there really? Okay. Also, I should keep exploring and keep finding stuff instead of being in here. I'll be confined here at night anyway, won't I? Damn, they're only butter knives. Their damage is piss poor. Oh, no, wait, a kitchen knife. Excellent. Thank you. We'll take that. Put it in the hammer slot. Drop this butter knife. Uh, right. Magazine, cooking for beginners. I'll drop the fishing for intermediates for now. Drop the hammer. Take the empty bottle and put it in my hands. Presumably that's the soda. Can I fill it up with fresh water? Will alcohol boost my mood? In real life or here or this or the game? Yes, to both. Oh no wait, orange soda is here. Weird. Okay, just I had an empty bottle. Oh yeah, there is wine. Grab wine glass, red wine. <laughs> we'll save that for night time. Let's get out there and keep exploring. Okay. Look at this hellscape. Suburbs. Ugh. Check the map. So. That's the house with the stuff. I'm just going to mark that just as a potential. Hmm. Okay. So what's that black building down there, I wonder? Zombies kick their way in here. Just a small house. This isn't the one I want. Let's keep moving. Here it is. Petrol station, maybe? Thank you, Army Hunter. Thank you very much, Army. Mechanic? Maybe this is where you go if you want to fix your vehicle. Radio receiver, amplifier, scrap electronics. Uh, regular tire type standard. Seems so. Hmm. Jack, tire pump. What's that? Inside the box, nothing of note. Can I get through here? the microwave. Nothing. Paper clips or bullets? Paper clips. Blue pen. Pipe wrench. We'll take the blue pen just so we can differentiate. Oh, hello, Lulu. You're right, sweet pea. Yes, I know. I know you know. <laughs> look at look, look at this dog. Like clockwork, everybody. She knows that it's almost the end of the stream. Sorry, I just got some gifts over there. I don't want to show them. She knows that it's almost the end of the stream, and therefore she gets cuddles. She's waiting for me to hang up the headset and let her go on my lap so she can have some snuggles. <sighs> it's our little routine. At the end of every stream, she jumps up onto my lap and we just have a cuddle. Okay. 
What's that on the floor? Did someone drop all this stuff here, do you reckon? Uh, pipe wrench. Empty. Yeah, look. Mechanics for beginners. Okay. Might as well grab that. Hmm. Ooh, is this a sign of human activity? Did someone try to get this uh, car going? Hang on. Ah. Maybe they did. The seat is missing. Someone was here. Shit. We're okay. So what's that? That's the... So this is where I ran before. That's the police station? Let's go back in that direction. What's that on the floor there? Is that a spear? <laughs> Someone made a spear. It's broken. So how long do items persist? Does anyone know? Crafted spear broken. Right, just drop it. Oh, hello. Looks like I'm attracting some attention. Thank you, unregistered splotch. Thank you very much, unregistered. Have a cuddle in a minute. Spooky. Police station was this way. Thank you, Beetle Winds. Thank you very much, Beetle. Meds. What's this? Empty. First aid kit. What about that one? Suture needle, first aid. Let's take it. Okay. So this is where I were before. careful as possible. <laughs> Shit, how many? Is it going to be too many? Careful, don't let her get near you. Take her out, dude. Take her the fuck out. Character is panicking. Okay, I know. I know that one went that way. So someone said that there was a gun locker. Could this be it? Ooh, hello. Okay. Watch my back because. Nope, we're okay. Ooh, and a campfire. Someone's been in here. Maybe they spent the night here. Okay, on the floor. Empty bottle, water container, planks, two... Fuck. For real? What the fuck? Who did that? Who the fuck did that? Is that just a server thing, or...? It was a ghost. Empty bottle. Okay. Looks like this place has been picked clean by whoever set the campfire, probably. Interesting. I wasn't aware that you could do that. What's that? 
Empty tin. Plank. Okay. Cool. Yeah, what's that bag on the floor? Hmm. How big is it? 15 slots. Same as my existing one. School bag. That's not a campfire? Is it not? Okay. Well, looks like I'm just shit out of luck on the uh, on the gun front then. Someone else got here first. Let's get out of here. The night is already falling. Best find somewhere safe to hold up, eh? Some residential buildings over here. We should probably go over that way. Yeah, that way. Okay. Can I get around her? Oh, hello. No, thank you. This is near... Yeah, hang on. Is this where I started? Pretty sure it is, isn't it? Hang on. Yeah, this house here is where I started. We should check those vehicles in a bit, see if any of them are operational. Up over here. Watch out for him. Can I get in? Yes, I can. Can we go? You know, or not. Close that. Close that back door. And then, see if I can get some sheets to cover up the windows. Shit. Damn, they're trying to get in. Crap. Ah, let's pick a different house while they're busy, eh? Let them do their thing. Shit, watch out for that dude. Okay. Yikes. Oops. That was a stealth kill. It did not work out very well, did it? Okay. Uh, not many windows here, though. We might get away with... Hang on. Might get away with staying here for the night. T-shirt, socks... So hang on a minute. So what happens if I tear this up? So where... Craft, not rope. Rip, yeah, rip the one. Hang on. Okay. Did I rip it? Did it work? Uh, socks is on the floor. No, it must be, must be in my inventory. Okay. Put that on my back. So ripped sheets. Will this let me put them up as curtains or? Well, oh, they're already done. Hang on. Close those curtains. Oh, there's another blind over there. Yeah. Hide the fact that anyone's in. Uh, thank you, Meatwad. Thank you very much, Meatwad. Oh, that works. Holy shit, there's loads of curtains and blinds. Perfect. Nice. It means we can put the lights on. Where are the lights? Over there. Cool. So long as we're quiet. So, feeling a bit peckish. The oven's quiet. So long as yeah, so long as I don't put it on a timer. Do I have anything that I can cook? Almost night time. We'll stay here. Peas fresh, pork chop fresh and uncooked. Okay. Open up the oven. Wait, wrong button. There we go. Uh pork chop fresh and uncooked. Cool. I can run around. Can I? Oh, wait. Sorry. That's, yeah. I'm quite weighed down, actually, now that I look at it. Put this water bottle in my bag. 17. 16.9 out of 12. What's so heavy? 
Drop that shirt. Uh, I'm cooking the shirt. No, no, it's on the floor. It's fine. There we go. Switch it on. Cool. So we'll just babysit the cooking as it does its thing. In fact, can I stop and read a book while it's doing it? I wonder. Cooking for beginners, foraging for beginners. Equip, uh, yeah, equip primary. And then... Is it in a primary slot? Yes, it is. Here, so let's try reading it for a bit. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, yes, this is a uh, this is a server, a clan server. You can see the uh, the other survivors in the chat at the bottom left. Oh yeah, I should check and see if that woman has a key. One second. Excuse me. Do you have a key? You do. Hold on a second. In which case, we might just be able to lock the damn door. Hey. Nice. That means we don't get any unwanted guests in the middle of the night. All right. Dangerously undercooked. I see. We've even got a progress bar. Cool. That's yeah, kind of neat. Yeah, potential base. All the blinds on the windows are very cool. Okay. So next question. Can you lock containers to stop other survivors from just helping themselves? Cooked. There we go. And now burning. Better grab it. Quick. Dude, grab it. There we go. Damn it. Did it just burn at the last second there? Uh, damn. <laughs> Bugger. Crap. Okay. Uh, so make sure the oven is selected. Uh, orange soda, can sardines, gravy mix. Peas, sugar. Should check the fridge, see if there's anything in there. Hang on. Could eat some peas. Ah, hello. Rotten bologna, butter, lettuce, rotten. Oh. Orange, peach. That's, ooh, there we go. Meat patty and salmon. Let's try that. And then read the book. Uh, where is it? It's already back in the inventory. Yeah, I need to figure out how long it takes to... Yeah, so it's defrosting now. I guess I can just cook one, couldn't I? And then just time it for next time. Read this for now. Okay. So looking at the time, I probably will wrap up the stream in a minute because I want to do a little... Well, I want to cuddle the dog and also just do a little bit more source filmmaker animation before bed. Also, this morning, was that was that worth watching, that stream that I did? I was doing some animation at the same time as streaming it. Was that good to watch or boring? Cool. Might do similar then. Okay. Dangerously undercooked. Oh, cool. I can just monitor the progress from here. I love you too. I know. I know you think it's cuddle time. I know you think it's cuddle time. What? <laughs> Guess what? It's cuddle time. Ooh. 
Who's a good girl? Yes. Yes, I love you. Yes, I do. Oh, hello. Yes. Hang on. The meat patty is cooked and it's going to burn. Let me just grab it. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Grab it quick. There we go. Cool. And then we'll eat it. Oh, hang on. Sorry. What? <laughs> hmm? Why are you licking me? Hmm? Yes, I love you too, sweetie. I know. Who's happy? You're a happy Frenchie. Yes, you are. Yes. Very, very happy Frenchie. Yes. Yes, you are. Give me a kiss. <laughs> yes. I know, I do love you. I know. Right. Hang on. I can't drink. I'm too full. Okay. Right. I'll keep reading that book then. It's night time anyway. Hello. Mwah. Right. You're going to fall off. You're going to fall off. You. Dingus. You're going to. Hang on. Sit on the ground. Why are you making those noises? Huh? Oh, fuck. You made me misclick. There we go. Ah, dear. I'm sort of sitting awkwardly sideways, so I can't really reach the keyboard, but I can reach the microphone. She's now got her head pressed underneath my right armpit and her bum sort of squashed down hard on my legs. And she's enjoying a back rub. Hmm? Okay. Oh, wait, sorry. If I... Is it going to start a fire? Uh, turn that off then. There we go. Sit on the ground. Okay. And read the book. I don't think you can. Can you, Steelhead? How do you sit on the furniture? <coughs> right. Mm hmm. <laughs> Who's a good girl? I wouldn't. I wouldn't know, dears. Uh, she's not a pug. <laughs> she's a French bulldog. Different breed. Hello. Mm. Uh, oh, what? What? Why are you grumbling? Huh? What? Give me a kiss. <laughs> no. Yeah. Anyway. Um. So yeah, really not much else is happening this week, I'm afraid. Just kind of editing away on Team Fortress bullshittery. Um, yeah. Christmas is approaching. I've yet to wrap up any of the presents. They're sitting on the floor behind me. Actually thinking about it, that's what I really need to do. I need to sit down and start wrapping presents. Yeah. Thank you, Black Zebra. Thank you very much, Black Zebra. Okay. I wonder where all the other people are. Okay. How do I think a wilderness survivor would go in this? Can you do that? Can you just like build your own hut? Out in the middle of nowhere? Yes? Oh wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, really? People are building them on the server? Cool. Hmm? What's that? Okay. What's that? I'm getting thirsty. Do you not sleep in the game? Not as far as I know. When I played last night, they said it was a server setting. Okay. So what's the main objective of the game? I don't know, but I presume, like most classic open world survival, it's simply a case of survive as long as you can. So do your best to stay alive for as long as possible. 
Right. And when you when you initially drop into this type of game, your survival is probably measured in, in minutes. But then over time you get better as you learn exactly where the best stuff is. And then you'll encounter somebody. And then again, a, a coin toss, whether or not your life is measured in, in minutes. And then gradually you realize that your best bet is to be a bit more cautious when it comes to encountering other people. And also you realize that your survival chances really go up if you pull the trigger first and take what they have. Yes, I love you too. Give me a kiss. Good girl. She's wiggle wiggling her butt. You happy? You butt wiggling. <laughs> Thank you, Der Schinderhans. Thank you very much, Der Schinderhans. Thank you, Python. Thank you very much, Python. Okay. Why let them take what you have when you can take what they have? Indeed. Indeed. Thank you, Ursa. Uh, sorry, Urus. Nine. Thank you, Urus. Uh, yes, indeed. I've tried Stalker Grimguard. I played it through through until my PC couldn't handle it anymore. Back in the day, the Monolith faction caused some sort of memory leak, which crashed Classic Stalker in the end game. Okay. Uh, yes, there is Din, but I think it's probably a private server, I would imagine. Alright. Yeah, so far so good, Pillar. It remains to be... Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, we'll see what happens, what happens when I, I encounter other people. dog down because I can't even get to the keyboard when she's on my lap. There we go. Oh, now you're going to sulk. Mm -hmm. We'll have more cuddles in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I'm over here. Mark that as a potential. Right. Keep reading that book. We were nearly through it. Okay. Although, looking at this house, it could be tricky if the main door gets uh, smashed in. Not many exits. Thank you, Sir Dance a lot. The third. Thank you, Sir Dance a lot. Okay, what's that? I'm getting bored. Occupy myself with entertainment. Okay. Well, it depends on the game, Daman. If it needs lots of people, then it's often a case of more the merrier. Right. Uh, uncooked marshmallows. Hmm. Red wine. Oh, yeah. What happens if we just... Yeah. Oh, I see. It drops un my unhappiness down. So, yeah. Alcohol is the solution. Okay. <laughs> What's that? That. I think I need more alcohol. Insufficient alcohol. Thank you, Egg Radio. Thank you very much. What's that say? A bit tipsy. Yeah. Oh yeah, good shout. So let, yeah, have a look at my, my stats exactly. So hang on. So skills. Fitness. So fishing. What does this mean though? Can I craft things I wouldn't otherwise? So foraging skill is going up. Okay. But what does that mean? Is there like an overlay that tells me specifically what I can do? 
Hang on. Oh, you're here. So, fishing, crafting. Hang on. What's going on there? Why is it stuck? What the fuck? Weird. Place it there. Fishing. So, fishing rod. Okay, required time. Fishing rod with line. Make fishing rod. Sturdy stick and twine. Survivalist. Fishing health farming. Clean bandage. Cool. Make campfire kit. So get some logs. Or planks, and then just a bit of rip sheet for the kindling. Okay. Tent kit. Well, there's a whole stuff you can, yeah, a bunch of stuff you can do. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should look in town then for um. For a fishing shop, maybe look for a fishing rod, find a small body of water, get some food. Okay. Right. If you'll forgive me, if you'll forgive me, folks, I'm probably going to leave it there for this evening. So, um, yeah, I've managed to get into the map here. I went over here, encountered some horrible monsters, and then ran from them over here. Did a loop around, figure of eight, and then I'm back again. I'm alive. I've got some stuff. Um, I've got a fairly cosy house here with the door key. Yeah, going to forage out next time, I think. If I log off here, do I stay here? Hang on. Power, turn on. Uh. Okay, battery must be out. Okay, in which case, yeah. Hopefully the, the place will be alright. Fingers crossed. Alright. Uh, hang on. See you lot later. Gonna go have a wank. Then go to bed. <laughs> Whoop. Right. There we go. How do I quit out of the server and keep the position? Just quit. Just quit. Cool. Um, anyway, so thank you for watching, folks. So thank you, uh, Radio, Sir Dance a Lot, and Blue Fist, and Ur Urus, and Python. Thank you, all of you. Um, so yes, I yeah, I'm gonna go wrap these presents behind me because they're just sitting on the floor, and I need to get them cleaned up either way. So. Yeah, going to wrap Christmas presents and be back tomorrow morning. But again, please know that I'm working on Team Fortress Bullshittery Part 1. It is the, it is editing week Team number Fortress 5 Oops. Part one of a probable seven-week effort. I'm doing the best I can, but there's still a lot more to do. But yeah, thank you for watching, folks. Uh, let me just have a look and see who's doing what. So uh, Digby is doing some Ready or Not. Joink is doing Rust. Harry is doing Project Zomboid. Swat Knight is doing Genshin. And Smeagol is playing Rust. Okay, who else might be on? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so let me yeah, let me hand you over to let me hand you over to Harry then. So he's also playing Project Zomboid. So you can see what he's up to. Um, yeah. So this is the ever optimistic, the ever happy um, ZF Harry. I'll leave you in his company, and he can explain what he's doing. Thank you for watching, folks. All the best. Have a lovely, lovely evening.